Well, Gert Wilders, of course, in the Dutch election, uh, his party winning the highest level of support, uh, winning the most seats. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that Gert Wilders will become the next Dutch prime minister because he needs the support of other parties in a coalition in order to be in power. And some speculation now that that may not happen. You've had not exactly an ideal start here at Phil Wilders, his coalition negotiator resigning after allegations, fraud uh, allegations. A lot at stake here. I mean, we saw the research in the Netherlands that I highlighted before that actually showed 61% uh, of those in the Netherlands support the combination of the PVV, Wilders' party, the VVD, Conservatives, the new social contract, Peter Umzik's new party, and the BBB, the Farmer Citizen uh, Movement. But you've now got a situation where Wilders has had to turn to a former left-wing minister here. Uh, this is Ronald Plasturk, he's the new described as scout uh, for this process to see if a government uh, headed by Gert Wilders can be put together or not, a former Labour Party uh, minister who's actually uh, since uh, been writing columns for the uh, Daily Telegraph uh, over in the Netherlands. And this quote is saying, what should happen now? That's not a difficult question. He said, justice needs to be done to the election results. The winners are the PVV, that's Field his Party, the new social contract, the farmer citizen movement and the VVD saying they have a clear majority and a lot of points in common and that there are no serious alternatives. And his view is that the cabinet formation is not enormously complicated and does not need to take long. But there is still the possibility that parties could refuse uh, to support a Wilders led government, that Gert Wilders wouldn't be Dutch Prime Minister. And Wilders really laying out a bit of a, a warning here uh, to some of the establishment parties. Quote is saying, now we have become the largest party in the, in the Netherlands by far, but some politicians don't get it. Does the political box of tricks open again, he asks. Is it forgotten that if we do not get a chance to convert the vote and democratic mandate of millions of people into managerial responsibility, we will only get bigger and bigger because the genie, he says, is out of the bottle and won't go back in. As ever, guys, I will keep bringing you all the latest on this and more, of course. So please do whack this video a quick thumbs up. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.